watching WRAL TV 5, Raleigh, Durham, Fayetteville. From North Carolina's news leader, this is Charlie Gaddy, Pam Salsby, Greg Fischel, and Tom Suter with the 6 o'clock news. You can call him anytime, uh, voice your opinion. Uh, he would take it and go with it. A man who gave 24 years to the city of Raleigh, fair and committed. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Raleigh is remembering a popular mayor today. We are indeed. Avery Upchurch, who died of cancer yesterday, was a moderating voice that forged a lot of friendships and many good compromises. He was a good listener and an honest man who didn't mind working around the clock to promote his city. Bill Leslie looks at one place where Upchurch put his heart and soul. Charlie, one personal note. You know this isn't my normal beat down here, but I did talk with a number of lawmakers, and almost to a man and a woman. They asked me to wish you well in your retirement. Heartfelt. Tom, I appreciate that so much. Thank you for the story. In other news, a major Well, it's time for backyard barbecues and fireworks. And you know it, lots of people on the highway. It must be the July 4th weekend. I'm Mark Robertson, Sky 5, the Holiday Traffic Report, up next. Two things on everybody's mind today. What's the weather going to be like this weekend? And how congested are the roads going to be getting off to the beach or to the mountains? We sent Mark Roberts up in Sky 5 to find out uh, about the highways. What does it look like now, Mark? Well, Charlie, it's not so bad right now, but it's going to get worse. Let's show you the Highway 70, I-40 split right now in Wake County. The eastbound lanes are getting pretty heavy. I think the biggest traffic jam situation right now is probably the WRAL parking lot for the Charlie Gaddy going away bash. But I-40 all the way to the beaches, the state police say, will be getting very heavy. Route 70 will be crowded as well. The state police advise any road that leads to the ocean is going to have a lot of traffic. Now to the west towards Durham and on to Greensboro. We were just along there earlier. Things moving along pretty well there. Again, the eastbound lanes a lot heavier than those headed out west. State troopers will be out with the Operation Eagle stops tonight. A lot more troopers out on the road. So everybody's going to need to watch out. If you still want to get out towards the shore and you leave now, you might be able to get in ahead of all this. And Charlie, that's the word from here. I want to add one more thing from Sky 5 here. I'm the last live shot of the Charlie Gatta Erie, Charlie Gatti era, last live shot in 24 years. Charlie, you are irreplaceable. We're all going to miss you very much. We wish you well in retirement, old friend. Mark, thank you very much, and thank you for being my friend and for all the good work that you've done for us while I've been here. Thank you. Answer to the second question on everyone's mind, what's the weather going to be like for the weekend? Stay tuned, because Greg's up next with the complete holiday forecast. Stay with us. As the preliminary hearing continues, what's next for O.J. Simpson? On the next Entertainment Tonight, we'll tell you what we know and why the Simpson case is causing such havoc in Hollywood. Then, supermodel Claudia Schiffer may be getting married, but that's not keeping her from turning heads. We've got an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at her sexy new commercial. So get out your boxing gloves, because we've got your ringside seats only on the next Entertainment Tonight. Wig Nights at 7. WRAL TV 5 News is closed caption for the hearing impaired. Well, the fish joins us, our happy band. Well, we're, we're hoping for a nice weekend here. Your, your yes, first we weekend are. free, <laughs> if you will. But uh, we're, we've got the weather headlines up here saying independence from rain is what we're Yay. hoping for. Uh, it won't be complete independence. There will be a couple of thunder showers around the next few days, as there are now. But even if you're unlucky enough to see one, it shouldn't be that long-lasting of a problem. The official high today made it to 89 degrees after a low of 66, and we're at 87 now. Humidity at 57%, a steady barometer, a southwest wind at 8, two hundredths of an inch of rain during the wee hours of the morning, and the recreational lake levels. And I know a lot of people thinking about heading out Around to one of those. Evening, a few the... scattered thunderstorms with the emphasis on the word few. If you're underneath it, it'll be a big deal, but most of you won't be underneath it, so it won't be a big deal there. 74 by 11, late tonight down to 67 in fair skies. Wake up time, mostly sunny in 71. Same thing tomorrow, up around 90, few widely scattered afternoon storms, but shouldn't be a real problem. 70 tomorrow night, 
and it is meteorological monotony for Charles last night here as we head into the middle <laughs> part of next week, 90 by that. day, 70 yeah. by night, not much to talk about. But uh, it has been genuine and real and whatever other adjective I can come up with, Thank but you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I know you do. Thank you. All right. We're going to turn to Tom now in sports. What's cooking? Charlie, will you adopt me and take me to the beach with you? <laughs> 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 I'd love to do that. All right. Coming up, men's semifinals at Wimbledon today, day two at the U.S. Open, and we'll talk about the growing popularity of the seniors' tour. We've got sports coming up on Friday, and it's next, Charlie's Last Newscast. Wow. All right, all kinds of rain problems down at the U.S. Senior Open Golf Championship in Pinehurst. Rain last night, look at this, Aronimo Pena hit by Colorado's Darren Holmes. Here they go, bench-clearing brawl. Looks like championship wrestling out there, doesn't it? Uh, somebody's going to get fined. Somebody's going to get suspended. No question about it. Mm. Well, this is it. Charles Gaddy. I've been here 24 years. Tommy, you've been here 23, 23 years. years. I can't retire. <laughs> Darn it. Greg has been here 12 years with me of the 24. And Pam has been here three years. Somehow it seems like 10, but <laughs> less than three years. Yes. Now, you all don't talk back because, uh, because I won't be able to get through this. But you know that I love you just as much as I do, if not more, than these other turkeys. I know. <laughs> you know that. Of course you know I that. Do. I want to take a moment to thank some people. I want to thank Jim Goodman, who provided a wonderful station and a wonderful opportunity for me. I've seen not all the world, I've seen half the world just being able to work here at this, in this newsroom. I want to thank my wife, Nancy, who has understood the rough and tumble of radio and television and for 36 years now. But I want to thank those of you behind that glass there. I've always been able to see you there, believe it or not and I've tried to do well by you. You have certainly done well by me. You have been my friends and you have supported me and you have recently sent me uh, cards and letters to the extent that I'll, I, I won't be able to answer them. And even today, flowers and, and things are coming to this station for me. And I, I appreciate that so much and thank you for being my friends. Uh, I, a long time ago, over 20 years ago, started here as a, as, a, uh, as, as, as an anchor, and you gave me a little bit of time to settle in with you, and it worked out real good for me, and I thank you for all of that. I hope that whoever sits in this chair, and I do believe that it will be David Crabtree when things settle down a bit, he is such a fine man, and I want you to let him settle in with you just as you, you let me uh, over 20 years ago. Uh, I'll never forget this. I've had a wonderful, long, and exciting career. Uh, I am not ill. Uh, I, if, if, I, if there was something wrong with me, it would be a great surprise to me. But I want to say goodbye on a happy and up note. And uh, I just recalled an old song that says, we'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Goodbye. Is there a special rate for that? You don't have to pay full price for that hotel room this weekend. You can get better buying power by just asking the right questions. I'm Donna Gregory. Tonight at 11, I'll show you how saving money is as easy as picking up your telephone. Buying power. Tonight on WRAL's 11 o'clock news.